Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today we do have a new moon. For some of you, it's tomorrow um, in Scorpio. And I feel like it is a very intense one actually because from what I've understood, um, it's not only the sun that is in Scorpio, but also the moon and Mars. So that just gives it like this extra um, push of intensity. So, and it's gonna be quite deep. Um, I feel like with Scorpio, that's all about transformation, but it's about deep transformation. And it's a lot of thinking, a lot of diving deep and, you know, transforming at a core level rather than just on the surface. So yeah, we're gonna see if any of those energies show up in today's reading. Um, this, did I say what this reading is? I don't think so. So this reading is going to be for, um, a check-in for the collective of divine soulmates, um, twin souls. All right, we're gonna be looking at the divine masculine's energy. Um, it is specific for those of you where the masculine is in a karmic relationship or situation. Okay, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It can be anybody that's in their life, but I will be doing this reading as if it is a partner, okay? Um, and of course it could even be a situation, so just take the messages as they resonate. Um, we're also gonna be looking at the feminine's energy as well. And I will soon be doing a video specific for those of you who are feminines who are also in a karmic situation, okay? Um, but yeah, for now, some of these energies that show up for the masculine could actually apply to you as it pertains to your own karmic relationship, okay? So again, just take what resonates and do keep in mind that this reading is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. And if you want a personal reading, all of that information is in the description box. All right, I think that is it, yeah. I, I did get some interesting imagery when I was med meditating before starting this reading, um, but I will be telling you what I got as we go along. So we're gonna start by getting the energy for the masculines. Let's see, let's see what wants to come through. What is going on with masculines? And this is a new deck, I'm pretty excited to use it. I feel like there's a really specific card that apparently wants to come out. There we go. All right, and it's the number two, which is distractions. And yeah, there are no words on them, but I was just looking at the book, so I'm pretty good at um, associating words with imagery here. So this is all about distractions. We'll see what's gonna come through because I have a feeling that, yes, the masculines have been um, trying to distract themselves from what it is that has been going on. Um, but I feel like they're actually looking at these distractions, like being aware of that. And this image is actually very interesting to me and I'll tell you why, because this is actually um, reminding me of the image that I had when I was asking in, in my meditation about the masculine's energy towards um, the karmic situation. And what I saw was the masculine like rubbing their hands together like this and then opening them up and then like dozens of white doves flew in the air which is representative of freedom, liberty, right, independence, and also the fact that the way that they were doing it, it was like, it's in their hands, right? And hands to me, it, it talks about manifesting, being in control, actually doing, taking action. So I feel like this is something that they're thinking a lot about and I feel like there have been a lot of distractions. They've been distracting themselves to kind of numb out the fact that they have not been exercising their free will or they have not taken, for some of them, have not taken the time to really figure out what it is that they want. So that's why I love that in this image, right, this girl who has the, um, the distractions all around her, it's like she's looking at one and this one dove is flying right right in front of her. So I feel like it is connected to the image that I had. Um, let's get, let's get a couple more. I feel like what this is saying is that the masculines are gonna have a hard time um, distracting themselves because it's like what they truly want, this essence of liberty and freedom it's popping up like all over the place for them. So 
so they have no other option but to look at it. And of course, that's divine in intervention at play. All right, we have victim. We get one more. <laughs> and the answer is yes. Yes, so this is all about them seeing that they've been distracting themselves and by distracting themselves, they're keeping their hands tied. They've been keeping themselves victim. The answer is yes to them actually being able to see that and to become aware of that. All right, yes to be able to, yes to seeing their distractions away from and how they've been numbing themselves away from actually exercising their freedom. So yeah, very, very interesting here. There is still a little bit of that victim mentality, definitely, but um, there's a lot of awareness about that. All right, so let's get into the tarot. Let's see. Masculine's energy towards their karmic partner or situation. What is going on here? So we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Moon. Mm, all right. So the masculine is being a little bit um, harsh, I feel, with the with the karmic partner at the moment. Um, but for some of them, yeah, it might play out like kind of. <laughs> Um, like, you know, like a backlash, like um, being maybe a little bit aggressive in their words, for example. And for others, it's like extreme coldness and extreme pulling away because definitely I feel like they're being secretive. Definitely um, almost like they're hiding. So I don't feel like they're being very outspoken at the moment. This is giving me more of the essence that they are just keeping their distance from from the um, karmic because they're, what's coming to me is that because they're, <laughs> they're thinking a lot about the feminine and it's like, almost like they're taking it out on the karmic. And it's, I mean, that's not the karmic's fault in most cases. Well, actually, it's never the, the third party's fault. Um, I can see why, you know, for some of you, the karmic partner may have contributed all right to some of this but it when it comes down to it it's really just about you and your masculine so with the eight of swords being in reverse this is also um this tendency to want to come out of that feeling trapped and because they do still feel a little bit of that victim right within their own selves they do also still feel a little bit trapped but this is like one of their ways of coping with it by pulling away their energy from the from the karmic and being a little bit secretive. So let's actually clarify these. Okay. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Fool and the Two of Wands in reverse. I'm going to get one more for the moon. All right, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. I feel like the group that I'm tapping into... Um, A lot of them are in like high level commitment type of relationships here. And I do feel like there is this, you know, there's a sense of safety, a sense of security in the material world, at least. For some of them, this could even be um, family. And what I'm getting here is that they're actually pulling away, being a little bit harsh, possibly being a little bit critical um, and cold 
just overall, like in the whole atmosphere, in the, you know, in the living space that they find themselves in. I feel like for a lot of them, yeah, it's like they're just present um, on the material world, right? Just providing what it is that they need to provide, doing their responsibilities, doing the daily, the daily things that they have committed to doing. But they're doing it in a way where it's like, um, like there's no emotion behind it. For the Eight of Swords in Reverse, we have the Fool. <laughs> Just got the tower. Flip over. Um, so for the Eight of Swords, we have the Fool and the Two of Wands in Reverse. Wow. Okay. So, and the tower, which just decided to show itself here. There's, there's a deep understanding here that... A risk is going to have to be taken. And there's this push. There's this push to want to really get out of this. They're, what I'm getting is that they're feeling suffocated. They're feeling suffocated and they just want to jump out. Jump free. You know, jump off a cliff. To get themselves away from that. That's, that's the urge that's happening within them. And they're feeling very, very impatient about that. Right, it's like with the, the Two of Wands, right, is the energy that they used to be in, just waiting, just looking, just not doing anything. And I'm not saying that they're doing something now, but definitely, though, in their general energy is wanting to move away from that. And I feel like they're doing it, but in, like, um, just energetically, right, in the way that they are reacting at the moment. Um, tower, th that deep realization that there has to be a tower, like, this cannot happen slowly anymore. It cannot happen gradually. It cannot just happen in baby steps. The band-aid has to be torn off. You can't just remove it slowly if they want to get untrapped from that. It's like, yeah, that tower just has to come crashing down and it, it has to happen kind of fast. Like, all or nothing, basically. It's all or nothing when it comes to getting untrapped. Um, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles clarifying the moon. Well, it, well the Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. But yeah, this is, um, hmm, they're, again, it's like they're being secretive, and I feel like they're being secretive when it comes to what it is that they might be planning or the way that they are organizing things. And I feel like that's why it's in reverse, because they're, um, they're being really secretive about it, basically. That they're not, whatever it is that they are giving here with that Ten of Pentacles, they're not doing it with the intention of it actually, um, you know, blossoming or, you know, moving forward, developing, progressing in this. They're not doing it with the idea or the intention of this being long term of harvesting their fruit. It's like they're just doing it because, because that's their responsibility and, and they're there now. So really, really interesting. So it's like they're hiding it, though. I feel like it, no matter how much they hide it, it's still going to show through because you can only hide your energy so much. Um, but they're just not being 100% upfront about it right now. And I feel like this is because they're thinking very, very deeply about all of this. It's like not taking the action just yet, especially with the, with the new moon in Scorpio. That's about deep transformation, right, at the core. Um, it's not so much about taking um, impulsive action. But it, it, it's like really, really thinking about every single little detail here. Maybe overdoing it a little bit, um, but I feel like it's actually necessary. It's like they're inspecting every single aspect of what it is that they need to do to get out of there because they, they feel like they're suffocating. All right. So let's see what is going on with their energy towards, towards their feminine. All right, so when I was meditating on this, I actually didn't get a visual. I got <laughs> I got a song playing in my head, and it was I Wonder Where You Are. I'm not going to sing it for you guys, though. I'm a horrible singer. I'm better at dancing, <laughs> not singing, though. Uh, so let's see.
All right, they're all in reverse, and we have <clears throat> the King of Wands in reverse. Oh, no, the Page of Swords is now upright. I could have sworn it was in reverse. Maybe I flipped it. doesn't matter. The Page of Swords and the Seven of Cups in reverse. All right, let me just move these down a little bit so you guys can see them better. So yeah, um, I'm not surprised to see the Page of Swords with <laughs> that song that popped in my head. Um, because with the I Wonder Where You Are, it's not just wondering where you are. It's more than that. Like where you are in your mind space, in your heart space, spiritually, in your 3D world, in your... Um, just in every aspect. Like what is going on with you? What are you feeling about them? What are you feeling about yourself? Just what is going on with you even in your, in your material world, right? everything. Um, it's like the masculine is not feeling very, very sure of themselves when it comes to you at the moment. So I don't know what may have happened recently between the two of you, and it's going to be different for everybody. But there's this sense of them feeling like they just can't have you at the moment, or they don't have the courage to um, come forward to just straight out ask you, all right? And some of you might be in communication, but there's still this energy of them being, um, feeling less than at the moment, but not only that, that this is also giving me an, uh, an energy of possessiveness, maybe even jealousy, just feeling out of control because they don't know what, what you're up to or what's really going on inside you. They're trying to figure something out. They're very curious with what's going on with you. And if you look with that Seven of Cups, yeah, it's like they're just having all of these fantasies, all of these um, um, possible scenarios playing out in their mind as to what might be going on with you, trying to figure that out, trying to figure out what is an illusion, what isn't, what is just in their head. Let's see, let's clarify. We got the King of Cups. Yeah, see, there's a lot of emotions behind this. Oh, two kings here. Well, the King of Wands is in reverse, but the King of Cups is showing up right. Um, again, it's coming in as them really feeling their feelings right now, really feeling the love for you, and because of that, feeling a little bit possessive and feeling a little bit threatened by you in some way, which I haven't fully understood just yet. Let's see the Page of Swords. All right, we have Strength and the Three of Swords in reverse. Oh, okay, so they're trying to be strong through this. I feel like there's um, they're really, there's something here. Yeah, they're feeling that pain, but they're trying to avoid that pain. Possibly why we also have the distractions here. They might be trying to distract themselves from the pain that they're feeling a little bit with you. Um, it's kind of like... See, they're trying to figure out what you're up to because they're feeling that pain and, and in, in an effort to comfort themselves and in an effort to avoid that pain, trying to figure out what is going on with you. And I feel like they're, it's like they're trying to convince themselves that there is something comforting happening here with you. <laughs> Look how sweet this image is. I can't tell if that's a boy or a girl. It doesn't really matter. Um, but they're hugging the lion, and it's like the lion is the one who is feeling afraid. And then the person is comforting the lion. So it's almost like the masculine is feeling like this lion who is afraid or hurt needs comforting, right? Like the king of wands in reverse. It's reminding me of this lion. And then... It's like they're trying to convince themselves of anything that would be comforting to them. You know, that you're still there, that you would still um, comfort them and take them in. But they're not really sure, right? They're wondering what's happening here. Also, a lot of them are wondering whether you 
are not hurting for them anymore. Whether you are recovering from this connection. And I feel like that, that too um, worries them, stresses them out. All right, let's see the Seven of Cups. Ooh, the Devil and the Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you know, um, there's a lot going on in their minds. They're trying to comfort themselves. They're trying to be strong, but... Um, I feel like there's a, they're getting a little bit obsessive here, in their thoughts at least. They might not be showing this, but in their thoughts, there's a lot of fear here as to what you might be doing, whether you are getting over them. And if you're walking away, right? If you are recovering from this, and if you're not hurting, and they're feeling very defeated by these thoughts and by these emotions. Okay, so let's move on to the feminines. Let's see what's going on with you. Um, what did I get for you? For you, I got an image of like a big oak, oak tree with like very, very strong roots. So what that was um, telling me was that the feminine right now is really finding his or her center and groundedness so if you don't feel like that's how you um how you're feeling take that as encouragement okay or, or as guidance and i'm also getting that if you don't feel that way the message for you is to know that whatever it is that you're going through that is the purpose of it it is helping you to become stronger to have a stronger base to have stronger roots and I do feel like that is um, associated to your root chakra, right? Your sense of security within your own self and how um, sturdy, <laughs> the word that came in, sturdily, <laughs> like sturdy, <laughs> how sturdy are you on your feet, standing on your ground um, within your own self? Now, the interesting thing um, about this tree was also that um, trying to describe it there was like this white flower that was growing from like the top of the tree and it was like really sticking out like a lot from the tree but it was still a part of the tree and to me that was um purity as well as like pure love and i feel like that was also representing the divine masculine and the way that the feminine is holding the divine masculine at the moment and it's like you are finding your own roots, right? Your own sense of groundedness, your own sense of security. And that is happening separately from, from the masculine, right? That's why the masculine was like, it was like standing out far away from the tree, but it's like there's, oh, it's, I'm having a hard time explaining it. Um, it's like the masculine is there, like you're feeling that purity, you're feeling that love. For the masculine, for a lot of you, that could even be forgiveness and, and compassion. But it was like separate, right? Like it was almost detached, but the connection was still there. That's the best way I can describe it. So let's see what wants to come through for the feminine. All right, and we have 16, which is, I can't remember the word for this. Um, I think it was... Oh my God, it's not coming. <laughs> um, I want to say ex expedenture, but is that is that the word? Um, anyway, it's all about, it's kind of like the fool in a way, but it's also talking about, oh, excursion. That's what it was, excursion. I don't even know what I said before, if that it's even a word. Um, it's movement forward. And that's what you're doing. You are moving forward. I feel like your, your movement forward is actually being accelerated at the moment. But let's see, you're moving towards something here. And I feel like whatever it is that you're moving towards, you know, it feels new. You have um, 
just something new about you, something new, possibly that you might not even be able to put your finger on, like what it is exactly. For others of you, maybe you can. But it's definitely a sense of newness. I don't feel like that meant to come out. No idea what it was. Um, but it kind of fell out funnily. All right. All right, we have big dreams and inner child. You're moving forward, whether you realize it or not, towards accomplishing some dreams, all right? Big, big dreams. And for others of you, this could be very, very literal that you are having some dreams, literally, all right? Which actually these dreams, for those of you that this might resonate, could be pointing towards um, your inner child wounds or things that you can work on, become aware of, or heal from your childhood, okay? So take that as as a message, but overall I do see this as the feminine moving forward towards big accomplishments. And I feel like that is because things have come up for you that made you face your, your childhood traumas. And the more that you heal those, the more quickly you are moving forward towards your dreams, all right? Um, irrespective of the masculine here. So let's, yeah, let's pull a couple of tarot for you as well. All right. You know what's funny? I actually got one more because um, then I was asking about the um, just guidance or message for, for the feminines. And what I actually saw was, um, the image they gave me, was swimming upstream, like swimming underwater and trying to come up, but there was a lot of resistance in the water. However, the water was very clear, all right, which to me is showing that, yes, it's it, the guidance is for you to keep swimming. Even if it's difficult, you are moving, you are moving up. The water is clear. There's more that you are becoming aware of. There's more that you are seeing. You're becoming more intuitive, understanding more what is happening within your own self and how it connects to the connection with the masculine, regardless of where you are um, on this journey, even if you, you feel like it's over and it's done. Even in that case, you know, it's, you're, you're having more awareness and that is the whole point here. That is still moving you closer to your dreams. And not only that, I love that I just realized this, right? It's this whale in the water, swimming. And you know, the tail has come up. And so I feel like, yeah, it's like you're almost there. You're almost there. For some of you, um, Yeah, you know, take take any message that resonates and, you know, just disregard what doesn't. All right, so let's see what we got here. They're all in reverse, but that's okay. We have the nine of wands in reverse, the two of wands in reverse, and the six of wands in reverse. All right, so the feminines, like I said, I feel like you're really, um, you're pushing through here. I feel like you're kind of giving up on the, on putting in effort towards the masculine or you're giving up when it comes to waiting, you, you're just not waiting for this anymore. You don't want to be stuck. You don't want to be at this crossroads. I feel like you, you, you've given up on that. So when I say you're pushing through, you're pushing through when it comes to moving in the other way. Why? Because with the waiting, there was no victory. And so I do see you kind of um, really sticking to that. Do we need to clarify these? Might as well. Let's just get a couple of clarifiers. Yeah, Queen of Swords was the only one that wanted to come out. So this is all about you standing firm, um, having that clarity and, you know, sticking to what you say or what you're, you're deciding to do. Again, because it feels like, you know, like I said, you are really moving forward here. So for a lot of you, this could be um, setting your boundaries, for example, or maybe even, you know, um, turning a bit of the cold shoulder to the masculine, although I'm, I'm not seeing it in a negative aspect, right? It's, it's upright. It's not in reverse, like, um, like the way it was for the masculine's energy towards the karmic, all right? It's completely different, but you're just not 
tolerating, you know, what it is that's not victorious for you. So yeah, I feel like that is actually um, it. I'm not going to look into what is coming up because I feel like, again, time is relevant. So I feel like this is actually what's happening um, in the next week or so anyway, or what has been happening. And I will be trying to get um, a few more readings out than I usually do for this month. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. All right, let's see. Final messages here if this resonated. And I really do appreciate it when you guys like my videos and, um, and comments. It really does help my channel. All right, so we have all that glitter. So it's all about all that glitters isn't gold. Yeah. So, and I feel like this is especially for the masculine here, right? That what once appeared to be this 10 of pentacles, it's not what they expected. Also, um, being confirmed here with that seven of pentacles in reverse that we had, you know, the investment that they made here did not bring about the results that they had expected or wanted. They're beginning to realize that and that whatever is happening in the material, right? That's superficial. That's not what really matters. It doesn't matter, you know, if you're feeling ha having everything materially, security or comfort, whatever, whatever it is for them, sex for some of them, lust for others, you know, it, it depends. That doesn't mean anything if you're going to be feeling suffocated and feeling empty. Feeling like a victim. So let's get, let's just get one more from this deck here. And we have the full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. All right, so you can definitely take this for your own self if you feel like that is a message for you. Um, otherwise, I definitely feel like this is also for the masculines, not allowing pride to get in their way because a lot of them have been holding on to ego, pride, status, um, how they view themselves or how other people view them and letting that get in the way from what they truly want. So, and going after what it is that they truly want. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you so, so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.